Do not punch in the street fight. If you punch in the street fight, you're asking for trouble because you might break your hand. And I'll tell you why that's gonna happen in this video. So do not punch in the street fight. Let's tell you why right now. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD, normally retailing for 129 bucks. But enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video. So, good luck. So here's a reason why you do not want to punch in a street fight, right? You might think that punching is stronger, but it may not be stronger because I'm gonna punch him right now like this, okay? Okay, and now I'm gonna use something different, which is a palm. What's the difference? Some more power, some more, uh, some more impact, um, definitely takes me off a bit. All right, so how come I can generate more power with a palm than a punch? Well, one reason is because with the punch, I'm only using my knuckles as the surface area, okay? It's just this bitch. These four knuckles, or these two knuckles, the tiny little surface area. Now, if you wanna dig into something, it might be better, but if you wanna get the largest surface and get most impact, you have your whole palm. The palm's bigger, it's got more surface area, right? Oh, sorry, shit. So, so, if you use a palm, you got way more power, okay? And this, a lot safer. So reason number two is that a palm is a lot safer. Okay, if I punch, if I'm really accurate, punch in the jaw, yeah, I can knock him out. But if I go up two inches in his teeth, I'm gonna need stitches. I have to go to a hospital. I might get an infection, right? If I go two inches up, I hit his nose, he's gonna get a bloody nose. If I go two inches higher than that and hit his crown or his skull, I'm gonna break my knuckles. Okay, we see that in training a lot, okay? Uh, people who are so used to punching, and then accidentally punch somebody in the crown of their head, which is the hardest part of your body, they're gonna break their hand, okay? We see it in MMA matches too, right? Uh, even people with gloves, they punch down on the guy's skull and they break their hand and the fight's over, all right? So don't punch in a street fight because you have to be super accurate and you're gonna break your hand. And the third reason that many people don't talk about is that whenever you clench your fist, you actually tense up, right? You know, when you get angry, your fist naturally gets tense up. So when you get angry, what, it, what does it make you do? It makes you stupid, right? Angry people are not thinking. So you don't want to be angry in a fight, you want to be relaxed. So one thing to relax yourself is just open your hands, okay? And that's also one of the reasons why I can get you know, more power because I'm relaxed. Whenever I tense myself, and then try to punch him, I feel stronger, but actually the energy is stuck in my body with the tension, okay? But as soon as I relax, I totally relax, I use a palm, actually more kinetic energy is transferred to my target. So that is the three reasons, three really good reasons why you do not want to punch in a fight. And you can feel the difference, okay? And he's bigger than me too. He weighs 220 pounds, solid muscle this guy, okay? And I'm only like 150 pounds, so. So I, and I can move them, okay? So do not punch in a street fight. Now that you know you don't want to punch in a street fight, now guess what? You can use that as a strategy in your self-defense because you know that the other guy is gonna be punching in a street fight, right? So what do you do? Well, you're gonna use that against him and then let's say he's punching and then use your elbows so that when he punches you, okay? He's going to punch into an elbow and then that's gonna fucking hurt. I mean, pardon the language, but it does cheer, okay? So use your elbows to block, okay? To block his punches. Even like really light contact, he's, you know, he's, he's purposely missing because he knows it hurts, okay? So let's say you put your elbows up, you put your elbows up like what I was doing, and punch, ah, oh, that's gonna break my hand right there. I don't even have to punch hard and it hurts, okay? So use that to your advantage. You know the other guy's gonna punch, so put up your elbows and block with your elbows. Okay? Boom. This way. This way. Ouch. Right? Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Like I, I, I'm feeling his pain, that's why I'm saying ouch. Because I know how much it hurts. Alright? So use that to an advantage. If the other guy's punching, make make yourself a porcupine. He punches you, it hurts him. 
Okay, so that is one strategy you can use. So I showed you how to do the power palm. There's also another really good technique in the street fight. It's called a power slap. Okay, we're gonna slap. Okay, that's a power slap. You put all your body weight into it, rotate your body, and put a little hop into it. Okay, so. Alright. So you think that's a knockout hit? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Most people can slap a lot harder than they can punch. Okay, this is me punching. It's pretty good, but then if you do it as a slap, here's what happens, okay? See, he's moving that much. Okay, so use the power slap. Another technique, awesome technique you can use. That's pretty quite safe. You want to hit the temple, you want to hit the jaw, hit the ear. That's going to definitely be devastating to anybody, regardless of their size. So the really good targets are to the jaw, or to the temple, or to the ear. All of them are very devastating and easy knockout hits. Much easier to knock out a guy with a swing than to go straight. Okay, so that's another awesome technique, the power slap that you can use and you can practice. So that's why you do not punch in a street fight. You're going to break your hands and you're going to stunt your own power and you're not going to have a good time and you're going to end up having to go to the hospital with a broken hand. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. Click the notification bell so that you get all the latest lessons that are coming up and you'll be the first to get these lessons. Make a comment. Ask your questions. Tell me what you think about this video. What else do you want to see on this channel? And like this video. So I'll see you soon in the next lesson.